Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, it's Mr. Moss from Mace RC Foam Fighters. Um, we've got some snow this week, and so this, this episode we want to feature um, some work that we're doing with The Apprentice. Um, this right here, don't, don't mind this, we actually did some work for, uh, actually got contracted out to do some work for a company, um, for a GoPro. But uh, anyways, what we want to do is we want to make some skis for The Apprentice. And uh, we've got some seventh graders over here actually coming in and working during some launch time to design some skis that will eventually be printed out on the uh, the 3D printers, um, we're hoping that we can get those printed out today. Actually, so it looks like you guys are referencing the actual skis. Yep. And then you're actually trying to get it printed out on the program. So what program are you guys using? We are using One Two 3D Design by Autodesk. And it seems to be pretty easy to work with. Uh, yeah, it's just a bunch of buttons. I can do pretty much whatever I want to go send it to the 3D printers and print it out. Cool, so go to home view so we can kind of just let the viewer see. Uh, I think you just had to hit the home, hit the home button. The home button right there. There you go. So it looks like we got a big front lip to the ski so it doesn't drag the snow. And then we got a little lip at the end. And I'm, I think, what we, what we said, at eight inches long? Mm -hmm. Something like that. So eight inches long on the apprentice would be probably like not that big. So I think that would be big enough. And then, what what are you doing right now? We're gonna uh, cut this block down to a big triangle, and then put put a hole through that so that we can unscrew this piece, take the wheel off, put the ski on, and screw it back on so that it has a little bit of flop, but can still uh, stay in place, and then we can land on the snow. Cool. So uh, we'll let these guys finish. And then next video will be, uh, we'll show the end result of their drawing. And then we'll actually take over the main spot and kind of show you guys how we set that all up and print that out. And then uh, show the installment and then take it out to the snow. So we got Ashton now is, is finished the, um, the ski. If you want to come over here, call him and check out the ski. He's got it. And you're doing this in, so now you finished it in 1, 2, 3D design and you got it in what, what this software? Is, uh, this is, I've exported it to the MakerWare software. Okay. Um, I've put it into the file that the MakerBot reads, and then we can print it out now. Cool. So, just pop this in here. And then, I think you probably should hit back. Build some SD card. There's the process. So now this process is probably gonna take, because it's such a big object, I would, I would guess it's going to take maybe an hour or more. And we're just doing it uh, standard. We're not doing it a high resolution print. So it's just going to go. It's going to go fairly fast because it's a prototype. And um, Ashton, I. It looks like you're doing supports for it, which is good because we do have. So if you want to go over here, cold and see how we have these like these little um, inlets or whatever you want to call them, where the skis is kind of going up. If we just printed them off that way, this thing would just kind of fall over. So what we had to do when we did the export the file, Ashton put little supports in there so that it'll, it'll support itself. Yeah, it's definitely doing the supports right now. So that's the two edges that are going to go up. So if you want to go over on top, cool, and you can see the show the viewers like those will be the little supports, and that will be easy for us to break off. Cool. All right. Well, print off three of these bad boys, and then um, we'll show you how we attach them to the apprentice, and then um, test flight and see if it works. Have an outlet, Zach? Nope. Find one. Good 
this side was the best because it wasn't on like a string. That side? Yeah. Um, we finally got some snow, and uh, we want to test out the, the skis that some of our kids made. So we're just going to do some landings. Hopefully we'll be able to take off land, take off land, um, to demonstrate and see whether or not these 3D printed skis actually work. So now if they do work, then we'll be able to apply this same technology to some of our other plants so we don't have to be limited on it. So. They need to be more they need curved. more of a chip, I think. Maybe. Yeah. Or maybe harder. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's just no, it should have a bigger chip. It could be good on top of it. It's like powder skis and powder. Yeah, it's pretty powdery. Well, <laughs> that sucks. Marshall, what they do for like real skis, they just put a root, they're fatter, and they just have a lot of them. <laughs> so what you do is they get up on top of the snow. You could go like where kids have been walking or something and try that. Or yeah. Try to pack down. Yeah, we could try to pack it down. Let's try to pack it down like a yeah, runway. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, that's it's a start. Yeah, keep packing. Oh, come on, Lord! Oh! Okay guys, um, we are now going to have to go back to the drawing board and, and figure this thing out. So I think what we were saying was, um, which we didn't ruin the propeller at all, but we need to come up with a way to keep these things from one moving, okay? So maybe we have an extra support that's connecting these two so it prevents it from moving, as well as um, maybe make them taller. Yeah. Right? So we need to make it come down a little more so it gives us a little more freedom with our prop. Okay? And then, um, what was the other thing? Not Longer. high enough on the tip? Yeah, Longer more of a front. pitch. Maybe you could make it so it just moves backwards, not forwards. Well, we, we, have we need to tighten it up. Just tighten it up. Just stationary. Right. Well, that's what we tried to do. So we need to make that hole smaller. Okay? Yeah. Um, and then, we, so like I said, we need to have some another sort of like a linkage or something that comes down to keep it from going up and down which I think we can do. Um, as far as making it fatter, maybe we make the bottom fatter or do we need to keep the ski The width thin? itself, I think. Yeah. The width? Yeah. A little longer? I think yeah. we just, yeah. it's just, this just is super it down powdery down snow. Yeah. Yeah. We rarely get this if kind we, of snow. Have, like, it's usually down packed. Snow work. Yeah, if we maybe yeah, come we back in a couple snow. days, it'll be hard yeah. packed. Yeah, because this is like, this is, Even Jake, if you want to see, this is like brand new snow we got today. So, I mean, it's, it's super, super powdery. And it just uh, would just stick. Mm -hmm. But once we kind of packed down a, a runway, we were able to get it get it going. But yeah, but we don't, you know, we want to be able to still be able to go through anything. So maybe we do kind of give it a little bit of a little bit of volume in the ski itself, almost like a <laughs> pontoon, like. Okay. Well, let's go back to the drawing board and work on the skis. <laughs> 